Hello. It has been a long time since we've done one of these. And a lot of shit has gone down. First things first, um, we got engaged. To, to each other. Yeah, actually to your long lost twin. The evil one? Duh, of course. Anywho, so yes, we got engaged. This is my grandmother's wedding ring that Ari proposed with. Very sweet, very sentimental. Mm -hmm. I proposed on a beach in Malibu yeah. at sunset. Very beautiful. Uh, it was so special. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I wanted a small, intimate proposal. Just uh, somewhere sentimental. The beach that we got proposed on, we went viral there, we took our dog there, or we took our dog there all the time. Yeah, so it was special. Yeah, it was very nice, and one of my good friends, Paul, um, did all the videography and yeah. photography for he it. He hid in and amongst the sand. He did. And so got some great pictures. It was great. So that happened in November. I then signed a contract in Thailand. So we are currently in Bangkok, Thailand. We got here in January. Yeah, 11th Jan, so yes. it's been about a month. It's been a little over a month, like a month mm -hmm. and like two weeks. weeks. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we love it. It has been amazing. But before Thailand, we were in India for two weeks. Yeah, one of my, uh, well, two of my close friends uh, got engaged to each other. Yes. So, uh, and I was sort of the matchmaker a little <laughs> bit. I mean, I, I put in a good reference. So yeah. uh, <laughs> I'll take the credit there. But we had a, a fantastic time. It was in Agra. What did you think? It was beautiful. It was my first like Indian engagement, Indian wedding. First off, the engagement was like four days long. They had like a pre-party and then a dinner party and then the ring puja ceremony. and then the ring ceremony and then a night thing like it was a lot but it was amazing um the girl tiny she is so amazing i love her i adore her she's like my sister now and abhishek the groom is one of the funniest people i think i've ever met yeah he reminds me a lot of you yeah we're very similar and yeah. now that you've met them you understand why i recommend it we swing right okay no that is not true but they're like our other like couple friend out of ari's whole friend group they're the only ones like really date like together yeah so i yeah. think we'll be doing a lot of like joint couple vacations and whatnot but we will now insert some clips of that because it was a big Punjabi engagement so yeah, and you got very drunk oh my god <laughs> trying to keep up with a bunch of Punjabis drinking is like and it could be an Olympic sport I'm it, not even it kidding. could be yeah and I kill it <laughs> yeah, yeah you were on a whole nother level so here are some clips of that Moving on from the engagement, we then came over to Thailand and Bangkok is one of the most amazing cities in the world. Ari and I both travel a lot. Yeah, and I've been to Bangkok a few times, but it, it's been a while and I was shocked. Like genuinely, I came here and it feels a lot like Singapore. Mm -hmm. Like it's clean, it's developed, it's mm. safe, but still super affordable. Yep. There's a ton of stuff to do without breaking the bank. Which I mean, is I'm, important I'm, because I'm, Singapore literally cost us so much money. Yeah, like we, you couldn't do shit I didn't do without shit. spending like 50 to 100 dollars. Actually, I'm wearing my Singapore shirt from Harry Styles, so I did do something. Yes, very expensive something. It was 280 dollars for a ticket. Didn't that pay for your friend? No. She paid your back? She paid for herself. Oh, so that money didn't come out of me? <laughs> no, it stayed in my account. Thai street food is so amazing. It's so cheap. We eat it probably, I don't know, three times, four times a week. Four times a week, minimum. Yeah. I want that tonight. I think I want boat noodles today. Let's do boat I don't want to. No, let's dive into Thai boat noodles because I feel like it's a really popular dish here, but no one talks about it. Like when you think Thai food, it's pad thai. It's, Satay, yeah. bread curry, banana mm -hmm. curry. Exactly. Not fucking boat noodles. It is the most complex noodle dish I have ever tasted. It's not like ramen. It's not like like fur or anything. I was gonna say what other noodle dishes are there but it is crazy good my agent who has lived here in Bangkok for 12 years took us out and oh my god I have never been so mesmerized by a meal we ate it four times in two weeks after that meal and it's like so it's a bowl of uh, like dark soy based sauce yes. and then you have beef and you got noodles and you got little um but it's but the beef is like beef sh like like flay. Strip. yeah and then you also have like the minced meat like beef balls yeah the beef balls oh my god it is so it's good crazy. and then it, you garnish it with like fried garlic bean sprouts palm mint, sugar palm sugar and if you want on the side you can get pork balls with sweet chili sauce oh baby it is so fucking good you know definitely 
highly recommend if you are traveling to Thailand any anytime soon. Um, what else is here? Well, we also hit up an island. Oh yeah! It was your boy's birthday. It was Ari's 26th birthday, so me being the good fiance I am, I surprised him with a little island trip. I was his sugar mama for the day. Mm -hmm. So we have a little mini vlog of the island and then Chinatown coming out probably next week or the week after. But it was amazing. Ari almost crashed a motorcycle twice. Well, not almost. I mean, we you did pretty much crash. Yeah. Uh, like, much <laughs> unscathed. This um, is what was happening. There is like a 90 degree uphill like turn. Like turn, yeah. yeah. You have yeah. to go up and over. We get like halfway and we're on this side of the road and Ari floors it and all of a sudden, and this is all forest, all of a sudden we are going Wim! And I, I slam on the brake and, and I, the bike stops. We, and we don't <laughs> crash but it stops. I fly off. I mean, I have like a 15 pound bag too of all of our stuff and I just book it off of the motorcycle. I had I don't know if you can see. I had three giant bruises going up my leg. It was so bad to the point that my agency was like, is he? And I was like, no, he just almost crashed a motorcycle and I had to fly like a fucking wild dog. In my defense, it only happened twice. Only twice. And so the issue is, before you guys are like, why did you even run a motorcycle? There are only two, three ways to get around on this island. A taxi, on a motorcycle, a golf cart, hours had a good time we wanted to go to another beach while we Ari was driving I was like a motivational speaker I'm like <laughs> yes because like I after the first drive like the first was from where we docked to get to the beach yeah uh, we had two crashes yeah. along that way and my confidence was not it was doing in the well. toilet so for the whole 15 minute drive to the next beach she was just in my ear baby you got this you're the best you're so stable look how good that turn was you're nailing it the whole time. Oh, and then the hat flew off. Yes, my hat. I put hat. Ari's hat on because I got insanely sunburned, head to toe. Literally my feet and my scalp got burnt. And we're going downhill and all of a sudden the hat. <laughs> Ari slams on the brake and I'm trying to run. It's up another hill. 90 degree uphill. I'm running. I have no pants on. I just have a big t-shirt. Obviously I have my swimsuit on. But I'm running and all these other people are zooming past, audibly laughing at me. Because I look like a cartoon. I just choked there. I look like a cartoon character. I also think this is a good point in the video to tell you that 90 degrees is, is this. Not Whereas, this. No, that's 45 degrees. Oh. So 90 would be going up a wall. Oh. I failed you. So, okay, so no, you learned some. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on all the time. It's not in business. We still have a ton of stuff that we want to do. We're just trying to find a bunch of things. Yes. Like, for example, there's this cafe that has oh, not only. Oh. Puppies and kittens that you can go play with and take care of. They've got capybaras, they have birds, they have parrots. They have foxes. They do have foxes. We can go when we have money. So go watch our TikTok content, please, for the love of God, so we can make money. <laughs> um, also, the most uh, but progressively and we are actually releasing a little something that has to do with Hindi sometime soon so watch our socials for that you would be asking is what's next don't ask we don't know it all depends on where my agents want me to go for modeling so like two weeks before they're like all right this is the country you're going to so, so by the time we know you'll probably know yeah so that's why I definitely watch our socials because we update those way before we do youtube youtube's just a pain Ari sucks at editing so when it comes to content i come up with it and then i film it and then i edit it and then i post it and i watch it and you watch it and that's about all he does <laughs> anywho thank you guys for watching check out our instagram facebook tiktok i think that's it everything's linked in the description we will see you guys